What is good guys, my name is Wise so Exotic, back from Down Under here bringing you 5 glitches in Fortnite Battle Royale. So let's get into this video. This could be us, so back to what I was saying. So before I do jump into today's 5 working glitches in Fortnite Battle Royale as of the 13th of March I'd love for you guys to subscribe for more content like this Tips, tricks, glitches and all that good stuff and you won't miss out Also be sure to turn notifications on and hit that like button if you do enjoy today's video So I know to make more videos like this to co Today's comment, comment down below what's your favourite gun to be featured in the next video now, for this first one, I'd recommend coming to this outpost here. I'd recommend grabbing a gun from this location. The reason I'd recommend grabbing it from there is so it doesn't look suspicious that you have grabbed a gun from down here. Now, this will be... you will understand this more in a little bit. Um, I'll just show you what I mean. So basically, you're going to leave any other guns and you don't want to destroy any other stone where I am. This is near Anarchy Acres and near the motel on the right. Once you've done that and you left the stuff there and you grab the gun from that location I aimed at, you want to come down here. Once you're down here, if there is a chest on the left, that is perfect. I'd recommend doing it now. You want to break this door here, I'd recommend um, looting this chest because I was trying to find a method of getting up there without um, basically destroying it. So you basically just want to loot it, grab whatever you want and um, I recommend not destroying or damaging any of the bricks so it'll look like someone has been here. You now want to build yourself up here and you now want to destroy the ramp. You now want to camp up here and destroy the chest that you have just looted and you want to basically bait someone into coming to that chest there. You will get a lot of good loot out of them most likely and you will get the chest out. Basically you just got to pop down, shoot them in the head and get their loot. This glitch is pretty cool getting up there and it's even cooler when you get amazing loot from the person. I've done this a few times and I did actually get a win from doing this. You may not have the funnest game, it might be a bit boring. But it's just something to do. I enjoyed it. This next one is an unl unlimited flying glitch. The reason this can be pretty good is, well, you'll make no footsteps um, noises when going around the place. The basic method of doing this, you want to place a floor, jump pad, and then a roof or stairs. As you jump and as you're about to land on the jump pad, you want to place down a roof or stair piece. Now this will give you the ability to unlimited fly, not just that, you'll be a harder object to hit um, if they, they've got to aim exactly in the middle, if they aim higher it'll just go above you, lower it'll just go under you, you'll see what I mean in a second once I land this. It may take a while but I'm basically showing me attempting it and showing what it's going to be like for you if you haven't done this much. This was my first ever time landing it, it did take me a while but I ended up landing it after a little bit. As you can see, you now will have this ability, you'll make no noises when um, walking, going up materials. I used this and I actually, um, on the left there, I actually tried to go up there and take him out. You will see, I will leave this um, gameplay showing for a while, just showing me flying around, around with this. So if you don't want to skip through this, you can do it to the next one. But this is just me having fun showing you what it's going to be like. I like this because the thing, funny thing is I actually like about it is it's actually going to be hard for them to actually shoot you. Um, not just shoot you, but basically you're going to make no um, footstep noises and you'll be able to hide behind objects easier and you'll just be able to be more sneaky. And if you want to quickly get out of it, quickly click. Um, I believe circle or X or just change to a different weapon. I believe that will cancel it. You can also pick up weapons um, Ammo and stuff. Um, I do think you can pick up weapons But I'm pretty sure it's mainly you can pick up like wood and stuff not destroy anything Basically, I was climbing up here. They couldn't hear me and I ended up taking this guy out I accidentally did go over a piece where it would stop it But I'm just gonna show this gameplay and I'm gonna show me where I actually die I could have got the win here, but I did stuff it up I thought this gameplay would be pretty cool to show you in this video not just show you glitches, but just to show you um, Some kind of gameplay like this. I just thought it was pretty cool um, if you want more gameplay like this, be sure to subscribe and I will show you cool tips and tricks how to build fast and all that good stuff and tips and tricks how to win. So if you want that, just comment down below. If not and you want more glitches, say that and I will bring you more. I do end up taking this guy out. He was a he was a bloody sausage. He was one hard guy to get. Then another guy pops out on the left. But basically the ability I was using that glitch is I was able to sneak up on him without the guy spotting me which did really work in my favour because I was able to get a few shots off on him even though I did miss and wasn't able to take him out. 
you're wondering what my sensitivity is and I'm playing in at the moment in this game, I believe it might be 8 or 9, it definitely is 8 or it might be 9 because I was trying to test out a newer sensitivity to see if I was better at a higher sensitivity or a lower sensitivity and it turns out I was better around 8 to 9, um, any higher or lower I was still good but I wasn't as good as I would be if I had my sensitivity at a different range. Now I ended up do taking this guy out, but he was a bloody hassle to get out, and I didn't even end up getting the kill, so that was pretty sad. Um, and I'm going to show how I end up do dying. I do not even end up getting the win. I'll skip right now in 3, 2, 1 to show where I ended up dying. I was so mad here. I was building up. I was like, okay, one guy left. I know where he is. I see his bloody um, sniper, so I was just like, okay. All I need to do is build, wait for him, bait a shot off him. So I can see his sniper, um, all I have to do is wait for him to get up. I was not paying an eye on the storm and how long it would take to come in. And that's what basically killed me. He basically knew I had to come to him, so that's why he wasn't peeking, I'm pretty sure. I ended up doing a few pretty good shots. I was destroying there and then trying to hit him with the sniper. Oh, it did work a little bit. I did take 68 damage, but I didn't end up getting the win. And he ended up basically crying at me with the emotes and stuff because he was just laughing and just, you know what I mean? I wasn't, you know, thinking the best when I was playing this game, but as you can see, the storm's coming up on me. I'll have to do something, have to leave. I didn't realize until then. Try to jump down. I tried to play something right there, but it wouldn't let me place it and ended up getting the win. The next glitch I'm going to be showing you is this one at Moisty Mine. Now this one's pretty cool. This one, the reason I love this is because you'll be hiding fully in the tree. Not just that, you'll have God Mode in here. And not just that, but you'll basically be able to come here. You might quickly get a gun and you'll be able to bait people. Um, I'll show you how I mean by baiting. Look at me, I'm hidden completely. And basically you can have a sniper or something. Wait and aim at a chest, and as soon as they go to the chest, kill them, steal the loot, and grab that chest. I'll show you in a second what I mean, but it's pretty good. I love doing this, because it actually works really well. You can even get yourself on a perfect angle where you just be able to see out, as well as be able to snipe, and stuff like that. Um, there is a lot of trees like this in the game, so that's why I'm not showing you everyone, or there'd be over like 200 glitches if you were calling them glitches. It's more like uh, texture, they didn't do the texture properly, but Still, I thought this one's one of the coolest tree spots because as you can see, if someone was looting there, I would have destroyed him. And you can do it in other spots like here as well. And I will show another clip of me at Moisty Mire near the same spot with another tree. It's just, there's so many spots. And like this, I've got myself on a perfect angle where I could see out there, have a sniper ready so I could pop out and kill him if I needed to. Now the next one near Moisty Mire is basically near the same spot you can see on the mini map. All you need to do is come in, it's not that good, your head does pick it, uh, poke out a little bit, but still it's average if you just want to like have a fun game, you're not really just more like peak and plays and stuff like that. You basically be able to scout them from there, I'm looking at the chest and quickly popping off. Um, I believe you'll be completely invisible if you look up like I just did then. And it's pretty cool, it's not the best though. That's why I just added this one in to show you that there's tons of trees like this in the game of Fortnite Battle Royale. This next one's my personal favourite. A lot of you will realise that after not long ago they did release an update where you can build on trees. I personally love this because you can get into small circles. Say the circle's got 10 people left, you quickly build up into a tree, destroy the stairs that you got up to, you'll be completely invisible in the tree and you'll be able to get nice sneaky kills and they won't know they are up here. Or you could plan this way before and when there's 50 people left and you maybe have so much luck that the circle keeps going on you while you're in a tree. I've done this many times and it actually is pretty cool. You'll get some insane kills up here and you can go into multiple different spots. As you see, I'll get this headshot on this guy. I'm pretty sure it's a headshot. He didn't know I was up here until I started shooting at him. Ended up killing him, kind of doing the owl to him, which I would have probably raged there. Um, I will show you um, me killing, well basically destroying the wood that I used to get up here just so it looks more like I didn't like use that. So it makes me more anonymous being up here. Or you can get your mates to do it and do it in squads to get them to destroy it. Really, it's up to you. But it is pretty cool and I do like it. And there's a few other spots you can get into that'll make your head be invisible. Like this spot I'm about to show you in a second once I get up in it. Basically, once I jump in here, um, I'll tell you when. You won't be able to see my head, my wings, anything. And I'll be able to go out with my crossbow right here 
and I'll be able to aim while being visible and shooting and all that good stuff. So basically, this is one of the best spots and I'd recommend using this because this can this is a good advantage as well. You've got height advantage on you, um, you've got a free structure and you'll be, not many people will realize you're here. Now the last one I'm gonna be showing you is at Greasy Grove. It's not that good, but it's it's gonna give you the ability to shoot for a wall, um, basically the roof, and you just wanna come up the stairs, the first door on the right, you wanna destroy this wall here. I'd recommend placing a wall here, therefore allowing you to hear the enemies coming into where you are, so you'll know um, <clears throat> if people are coming towards you. Now you basically can get in the spot on the right here, where basically you'll be able to shoot through um, this wall here, you'll be able to shoot trees, kill enemies, um, do what you want. It's pretty actually, actually pretty good um, the more I think about it. So if you do like this video and you do want another video like this with even better glitches and maybe even 10, um, I will bring that to you guys. But you're going to show it by subscribing, liking and all that good stuff. And I love the support you guys have been bringing. I hope you guys have had a good night or day or wherever you are watching this or whatever day and all that. But... It's been your boy Y so Exotic and I hope to see you guys in another video like this. Peace.